Hello everyone, Dragon Kenji here with a hopefully helpful tutorial on the basics of getting Camtasia Studios to work. It took me a while to figure it out myself, so I hope I can help anyone else out there who's using it to produce better quality videos without any glitches or unfortunate resizings. So here we go. Basics of putting it in on the timeline the same as Windows Movie Maker for anyone who's used that. Uh, you can click that icon to split it if you want to cut bits out. So you end up with your, your two segments. Or is it many segments as you wish? I may not have figured out how to recombine them like in Windows Movie Maker, but as long as you leave them in the timeline, that doesn't matter. As you notice, I'm just using my intro clip for an example. Uh, there was no audio recorded by it, unfortunately, because I had to use Camtasia to record it. Now, when you're ready, you click that icon there, and we're ready to save. Leave it on Recommend Production Settings. Next, Hard Drive, or that one. That's what you want to select. For basic screen recording, you only want this one selected. Next. Uh, I leave the qualities on this tab here for video and audio. I always have it saving at 640 by 480 as well. Enter the name and choose where to save it. I'm calling this Cantasia Help Sync because I'm using it for a tutorial of sorts. As I get used to it, I may do more advanced tutorials if people wish so. Now here's the important part. Click Modify Settings, go to Video Compression. You can leave the other stuff how it is. You've got to change the codec it uses. The default codec is very bad. It saves files with massive size, sometimes over 700 meg. <laughs> yes, 700 meg for a two minute Mugen match. So change it to this DVX codec. Click configure, make sure it's set to one pass at 1000 kilobits per second. Go to the codec tab and make sure the mode is on high compression with the following stats. OK, right, we're ready to save. Leave it at six. Yeah, largest largest video size, which is the recommended setting. Nothing else. Next, and save. And don't tell me anyone who knows me is surprised at that desktop. I mean, anyone who knows me will obviously realise that I have a desktop like that. <laughs> After all, I am the self-proclaimed number one resident Arcade fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the size of it, of course, it can take quite a while to save. This codec also saves at very nice settings. Very nice sizes, you know. And we're finished. It comes up with this player that it has with it. So you can have a look, check out the quality. Don't worry that it doesn't enlarge with the window. It never does on this. If you play it later on in Media Player Classic or Windows Media Player, it should also resize if you go full screen and should be full screen when you upload to YouTube or wherever you wish. Uh, if you check Open Profile, Open Production Folder, it opens the folder it's in and you can look it up. See, there it is. So, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for everyone. If it hasn't, then I apologise. If you wish for me to do tutorials on more advanced features of Camtasia, or tutorials on how to record good with Snagit, uh, just let me know. Drop a comment in the comment box on this video. Hope I've been of some help to at least a few people. This has been Dragon Kenji. Till the next video, see you then. Bye for now.